Hello, my lovely students. How are you? Are you fine? Thank you to you for doing your homework of first conditional. And now, let's check our homework together. But before we go to our homework, let's check the last homework, page number 67, uh, in your workbook, uh, 67. Let's correct something here. Uh, in this exercise, uh, last lesson, we wrote by homework here, B. B, it was by mistake here. Because B here is for number one. And I think it's correct in your uh, workbook. Just, okay, make sure. The answer here, A. A is for this picture. We talked about the verb and we talked about the picture. So it's clear, A. Okay? And now let's go to our homework of first conditional. Go to page 60. Uh, 68 in your workbook, please. Yes, my dear student, do you remember the last lesson? We talked about first conditional. And first conditional sentences contain if and will. One part we have if and the present simple, and one part we have what? Will and the verb in infinitive. Okay? If and will when we have if present simple in one clause and the other clause we have will and infinitive if will no impossible if will no if present simple okay read and circle if you don't eat breakfast you will be hungry you see here present simple and here we have future simple here we have present simple, and here we have will, future simple. Now, if, when I start with if, I write present simple. No if, I, I choose will, okay? But here I have if, so I choose present simple. Will, no, okay? No if in the other clause. If I do, yes, I do, present simple, okay? If I do, here I have in present simple. If I do my homework now, mom let present simple or mom will let. I choose will let me watch TV. Why? Because here I have if close and here will close. I need if and will. With mom will let. Okay. Now, number C, we are. Do I have if here? No if. So I choose what? I choose will. Will here, if here. Okay? If here, present simple, and will here. Understand? We are. So present simple. We are. Present simple? No. I need will because are present simple. And I don't choose present simple only with if. Only with if I choose. I, w we will be late for football practice if we, and here we need what? Present simple. If we wait for fail. Okay? Now if, here I have if, so I need what? Present simple. Will? No. If it rains. If it rains on Saturday, the picnic will be. Okay, here if, here will. Will be a disaster. You want, do I have if here? No. So I choose what? Student simple? No. I choose future simple. Will? And in negative one. You want. You won't be healthy if you, here, if a class present simple, if you will eat or eat, if you eat, okay, I choose eat, if you eat junk food all the time. Number six, grandma is or will be really happy if you will take or take her some flowers, grandma 
will be. Why? Grandma will be really happy if you take present sample. If close to the be present sample. If you take her some flowers. Okay? Keep in your mind future simple who use will and infinitive. Present simple, I have only the verb and I add it with he, she, it and I use do and does in negative and question. Don't, doesn't negative, do, does question. Okay? Present simple with if. Now let's move to the next exercise. Complete the sentences. Use the correct form of the verb. What's the meaning of the correct form of the verb? Future simple or present simple? Now, if Melanie feels better, she will go to school tomorrow. If Melanie feels, you see present simple, she will. Beth and James will join. Why? The art club, if their parents say they can. Because here, if we close, present simple. Here, no if, so I use will. Beth and James will join. Now, number three. If we, if, here we, I have if, so I need what present simple. If we help, on. If we help tidy the garage, Dad will take us to the cinema. Dad will. Okay, here I have with. Now, if it's too cold at the weekend, if it's here present simple. So here I need what? I need will. Future simple. We will. And here I have negative. So what is the negative of will? Want. We won't go. We won't. Go camping. Your mom, here's no if, so I need what future? Simple. Your mom will be. Your mom will be angry if you don't. Here's present simple. Your mom will be angry if you don't finish your homework. Okay? Have you checked your homework? Finish. Are your answers correct? Yes, very good. Now let's move to our new lesson for today. Our lesson for today is grammar. Today we'll complete talking about first conditional sentences, but now we'll talk about first conditional questions. How can you make a question of a first conditional sentence? Okay? Listen to me. Carefully, please. First conditional question. First conditional question. Let's take an example. A sentence in first conditional. You remember this sentence? If Billy has enough money, he will buy a new CD. How do you make a question of this sentence? How? We start by will close and we start by will. Just we change between will and the subject. The subject is belly here. When we start with the name, I say belly. And not to say belly again, I say he. But here I will start by will, so I say will belly. Okay? Will belly buy a new CD if he has enough money okay this is the question will be this is yes no question the answer will be yes he will or no he won't okay this is yes no question and we have wh question i add a question word for example what will Billy buy if he has enough money the answer he will buy a new CD. Okay, but today we'll talk only about yes and no question.
Will Billy buy a new CD if he has enough money? The answer, yes, he will, or no, he won't. Let's take another example. If it rains, I will stay at home. How can I make a question? How? I take will, okay, and I change between it and the subject. Who is the subject? He is the subject. In the question is who? Who, who is he? You. Why? Because I ask you and you answer by I. For example, remember I say, how are you? You say, I am five. How old are you? I am twelve. For example, okay, here. The question. Will you, you see, will you stay at home if it rains? Will you stay at home if it rains? Yes, I will. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Or no, I won't. Let's say the last example. If you don't eat fruit and vegetables, you will get ill. The question. How can I make a question? You say the question. How? Will? Here's the, here's the answer you. And you're asking about yourself. So, what do you say? You say, will I get ill if I don't eat fruit and vegetables? What's the answer? Yes, you will or no, you won't. Okay, understand the question? Very simple. Uh, now your homework number one is to write this lesson in your notebook please don't forget this is homework number one you write it in your notebook now open your class book please page number 79 okay my dear student what can you see here in the pictures what tell me here we have junk food. Junk food. It's unhealthy. And here we have what health food. Okay? Let's read. Will I be healthy if I eat junk food? No, you won't. You see the question? Will I? Will I? Question. The answer? No, you won't. Junk food has a lot of additives and sugar in it. You can eat some junk food, but you mustn't eat a lot. You need healthy food too. Now, will I get ill if I don't eat fruit and vegetables? Question. Yes, you will. Fruit and vegetables are health food. We need to eat them because they help our body to work properly. Okay? Have you paid attention to the question form? Read and learn. Will I get ill if I don't eat fruit and vegetables? Yes, you will. No, you won't. Now, let's do an exercise together. Match. Here you should match this part to the second part. Okay? For example, here number one. Will we be warm enough? Number C. The letter C. If we wear our jacket, will we? You see here the form will, will, will. Question. Question. Pay attention. Question. Will we be warm enough if we wear our jacket? No. Number two. Will you walk to school? What is the second part of this sentence? If what? Let me read all of these parts. If they find their ball. If she doesn't feel well. If we wear our jacket. If we don't tidy our bedroom. If the bus doesn't come soon, if he makes the dinner, 
So, which one? What do you think? Yes, the letter E. Excellent. Why? Because will you walk to school if what? If the bus doesn't come soon. So, let's write here the letter E. Okay? Now, will the boys play football? Yeah, very easy, very good. If they find their ball, the letter here, the letter A. Yes, great. Now, will Jenny stay at home tomorrow? Jenny, will Jenny stay at home tomorrow? Yes, which one? Think, think. What do you think? What? If she doesn't feel well, very good, the letter B. If she doesn't feel well. Now, will Joe wash the dishes if he makes the dinner, the letter F? Now, will mom be angry? If we don't tidy our bedroom, will mom be angry if we don't tidy our bedroom? D. Okay? Now let's move to the next exercise. Exercise number four. Complete the sentences. Use the first conditional. We should complete. We need if. Or we need will. Okay? If or will. Which part? Now, let's read number one. You will be tired tomorrow. Here we have will. So the missing part is if part. If you don't go to bed early. Now, the boys wear their new t shirts tomorrow. If it's sunny, pay attention. Here we have what? We have a question. I have a question. I change between the subject and the auxiliary verb. Can I say the boys will wear? The boys will wear? No, I change. Will the boys wear? Because I have here a question. Will the boys? Will the boys wear? Will, write with me. Will the boy wear? You see, question four. Will the boy wear their new t-shirt tomorrow if it's funny? Here, no question. The cake will burn. Remember burn? What's the meaning of burn? Remember? Burn. Yeah, the cake will burn. And here I have will part. So here, what do I want? I want if part. If I don't. Here I have not. And it's written simple. I say I don't. If I don't, turn off the oven. If I don't, turn on the oven. Okay, finish? No. Number four. We don't go to the beach tomorrow. Look, do I have a question? No. Because I didn't start with will. will, will. We won't go to the beach tomorrow. So here I need what if, but if it rains. If it rains, present simple. Tomorrow, if it rains. Here, number five. Pay attention. Question. Lisa visit us tomorrow if she has time. If part. Here I have present simple. See, so here I need will, and here I not. I have a question, so I start with will. Will Lisa visit? 
will don't forget to start with captain will Lisa visit will Lisa visit us tomorrow if she has time Jack come to the party if you invite him here we have if so here we need what we need will Jack will will come Jack will come to the party tomorrow if you invite him okay finish don't forget when you start a sentence you start with capital letter when we have a question we start with will now let's go to our homework number two it is in workbook page number 68 open your workbook page 68 please our homework is very easy look and write sentences here we should write first conditional sentences one part if and one part the verb will and the verb now look example our team here we have scores one more goal wins the match if I write if start with if okay if our team scores one more goal and the subject who they, they and I write they will they will this is the same okay they'll they will win the match now I have here he not slow down and here I have crash if he not slow how I say it in present simple do you know he with he how can I make a negative with he in present simple he yes he doesn't if he doesn't slow down yes come up he will crash okay you write down number three here we have you make a noise and here not catch a fish if you make a noise come on you won't you won't catch a fish number four you go on the right again feel sick if you go, present simple, here I have only the verb with you. If you go on the right again, you will, you will feel sick. You just write it down, okay? And don't forget your homework in notebook. Goodbye, see you next lesson.